Hey everybody, uh, we're back. My name is Rosita. Um, I'm one of the admissions reps for Lewis Clark State College. Um, I'm based out of Boise, Idaho, kind of as like the outreach person down here. Um, but just uh, to kind of go over a couple things about Lewis Clark State College. Um, so a couple of upcoming dates. So orientation um, will be happening live in person um, this August 20th with an online option. Uh, for students living in the dorms, they're going to be able to move in on August 18th. And then August 23rd is definitely, um, is going to be the first day of classes. Um, in terms of COVID, right now we are currently following a two out of three rule. Um, our COVID procedures have not been announced just yet. I believe our president will be announcing them tomorrow. Um, but we are following the CDC guidelines as they are provided and making uh, decisions based on those. Um, but right now, yeah, like I said, we are following this two out of three rule. Um, for admissions requirements, um, this has not changed from last year when COVID began. Um, academic students will be uh, um, admitted if they don't have a test score on file. Um, we will need test scores, whether it's the ACT or SAT or an Alex math exam with the writing placement exam um, if so, for course placement and registration. So that's gonna be one thing to know. And then for current technical education students, they are required to submit some sort of placement exam um, for admissions. And that could also be the Alex math or uh, with the writing placement exam or the ACT or SAT. Um, let's see, scholarships. We do still have our automatic merit-based awards. Um, these are the ones listed here to the right, where if a student has any one of these GPAs or test scores, they are automatically considered for one of the um, merit-based awards. They do have to have um, a seventh semester or 10th trimester transcript on file before March 1st and be tentatively admitted by March 1st to be eligible for these automatic awards. So if you do have students that um, meet any of these criteria for the automatic awards, make sure that they are getting their transcripts in before that deadline um, and that they are tentatively admitted or working with us as well to make sure. Um, we do also have our LC State Scholarship application, which is one application for all of our current and incoming students to get a chance to apply for multiple scholarships. Um, this one does have the same criteria. Students do need to be tentatively admitted and have submitted updated transcripts by March 1st, but they do also have to have a completed FAFSA application on file um, and make sure that it gets sent to LC State just so that we can view that information. Um, there are some need-based awards on there that we do um, want to make sure that students are eligible for, so that FAFSA having it on file is definitely important. Um, they can view a little bit more um, by following this QR code. It will take you, students and you guys to the uh, scholarships page on our website. And then just kind of a couple other reminders. Um, so we do always encourage students to apply for the state of Idaho scholarships, of course. Um, and DACA and permanent resident students can qualify for the Idaho Opportunity Scholarship. So that's gonna be something that, um, you know, if you are working with students in that situation, definitely encourage them to apply. Um, and then with LCSD, undocumented students can qualify for our out-of-state merit-based scholarships, which is equivalent to the WUI, um, which brings down the cost of um, tuition to about 150% of in-state tuition. And they are, um, they can qualify by having above a 3.0 cumulative GPA. So if you were working with students in that situation as well, um, just know that there are um, options for them too. Some upcoming events that we are having and will be participating in. Um, the first chunk right here, we listed um, some of the fairs that we're gonna be attending. So the Southeast Idaho Fair, the Magic Valley Fair, the Idaho Oregon Border Fair. And then there's also some Hispanic Youth Leadership Summits happening this fall. Uh, being put on by the Idaho Commission of Hispanic Affairs. We will be having a table there um, and meeting students that are um, of Latino uh, backgrounds. Uh, we are having some campus events as well. Saturday visits are pretty much campus tours um, on a Saturday where students, if they don't have a chance to come Monday through Friday, they can attend a Saturday visit and still get a chance to walk around the campus, um, see everything and learn a little bit more about LC State. Uh, discovery days, we'll, we will be having three different discovery days this fall, one on November 5th, one November 12th, and one on Saturday, November 13th. So they'll have some options of when to sign up. Uh, Warrior preview will be happening in the spring in January, and then LC Connection will also be happening in the spring in April 22nd and 29th. Um, in terms of campus tours, we are still offering in-person tours. Um, those are not going away um, unless something dramatic happens with COVID. Um, but we do also still, ha still have plenty of virtual opportunities for students who are 
either long distance or those who are a little bit more cautious with COVID. Um, so just keep, um, just know that in-person tours are definitely still allowed. And then some important contact information in case you are needing any of it. Our admissions office, you can email us, call us anytime. Um, the financial aid office is definitely available as well, our advising center. Um, and then we do have some additional resources. So if students are you know, needing to have a Spanish speaker, they can contact um, me at that phone number, 208-366-5644. Um, we do also have the college assistance migrant, migrant program that was um, renewed for another five years. So if you have students that are um, have some, some sort of like migrant or seasonal farm worker uh, background, uh, contact the camp office and they can see if they're eligible for an additional scholarship. Um, and that is all I have. Please let me know um, in the comments or anything if you guys have any questions. Thank you.